A lot of Fire Alarm fans know about this pole station. This is a Simplex 2099-9754 T-Bar pole station. This is the newer one because the Simplex logo down there. And yeah, why am I making a video? This is not going to be a review of it. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to wire it up. I'm letting you know that some 2099-9754s are a little bit older. Because I like I said of the Simplex logo, some of them have like screws. Mine just has these little these little pins right here. I'm not sure if you can tell on camera. The the little holes, you probably will see it. Some of them are newer like that. And as you can see, mine's a 2099-9754. I got this thing on eBay brand new, and the only issue is it's just that this is popping out a little bit. Well not really, it's like loose, but it works. So before I made this video, um, I went on YouTube to see if there's any tutorials and none of them, they were crap and there was no result barely, just only one result and it was crap. So that's what, and how I got this to, so when I finally got wired up after I met Greg's fire alarms, he, he was very nice. I highly recommend go checking out Greg's channel, linked in the description. But anyways, let's get right into the tutorial. So you will need a T-bar like this. Make sure you have like an extra wire and a fire alarm that's been already connected. For example, I have my system sensor, specular classic, and my simplex truler. And if you already know what happened, if you're like wondering what's wrong with my hand, um, I caught, I got hurt the other day and it broke the skin. I, I would think I was in a scooter and I got in a crash. Uh, don't worry about it and this side too. Just don't worry about it, it will heal. But anyways, let's get this, let's get started. All right, so let me just put the camera thing up and maybe put it down for, like for a second, if I can. I'm actually I'm doing this on a bed, so it may be, it may be difficult. I got my what you want to do is you want to grab your um red wire, go to the back of the pull station right here, and you want to insert the wire into um this side right here. Let me just fix it a little bit and insert it. What, what's up with this? Um, let me, if I have to hold it, you want to insert it just like this right there. It doesn't matter if it has to be fully in, but I got it in. And what I do now is I, I hold it down like that. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. I need a new case. It's this one's crap already. Well, the next thing you want to do is you want to grab a wire from your, any of your fire alarm devices. So I'll be using this wire, or maybe no, no, no. Maybe I'll use this wire right here. Then that wire right here that's connected to the alarm will have to go in, um, in here. And do the same thing for that too. And after that, you might be done. And you just fix the red wire. And after that, you are completely done. And for some reason, the red wire likes to come out for some reason. I actually have no idea why it does that now. It doesn't really matter what color of wire you have, but it will work. But anyways, it should be like something like that. And after that, you're almost done. So let's move on. After you got your alarms connected right here, after you get that pull station connected, now there's one thing you need to do. Is you might wanna grab, like I forgot in the video that you also need a battery. I'll be using a nine volt battery in this video, as you can see. And what you want to do is you want to grab an extra wire from your device that's also connected, which you want to do is you want to put the black wire in there, I guess. Let me just put the camera back on again. Yeah, this case is kind of crap. I hate it. I think the red wire, like, I think the red wire goes here and this goes here. Like it came out a little bit. Let me just fix it because 
Yeah, great. Now my air conditioner came on. <laughs> Alright, and the black wire should connect just like that. Then it should probably get in power already. Now, like an example, I'm not going to pull it right now. I might just open it really quick. It is re it's really early in the morning, and there's my Coke can collection. Sorry about that, guys. I, I drink a lot of Coke, but I'm going to insert the key, and it should go off. Oh, my God. Serious? Seriously? I'm sorry about that. My wire is always like coming out, like for some reason. Like I just said, um, it's like I said, it's like real early in the morning. It's like five o'clock in the morning, and I don't want to pull it down because I don't want to wake anybody up. So we're just gonna open it with the key. So I'm gonna be quick, okay? See, it's working. And yeah, there you go. And it, it wasn't really that loud either, so you can actually pull it, too. The batteries are dying, too, so that's gonna, it's going to cut off because the battery's dying. But yeah, guys, that's how you wire up a, um, a simplex pull station to an alarm. Yeah. Well, guys, now you know how to wire up a 2099-9754. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.